We have an external mic. How exciting is that? And we have a fussy baby. Right there, because we're like really overtired. So, oh, and we have a husband who's just arriving home. Right there. And we have a puppy who likes to knock me over with like a little bucket in her head. Now that we have the whole gang here, I'm going to attempt to do um, basically a yoga flow, which I haven't done in like a really, really long time. Hence why my hair, it looks like a hot mess right now. But we have a new house, we have a new setup, and I thought that we would try and do a quick flow together because I don't know about you guys, but when you're working on something that's mentally and energetically it can be really exhausting and draining. I forget to just do the very basic things that actually help me. And right now that happens to be yoga. So I will meet you on the mat and see what unfolds, especially this is going to be fantastic for those of you that are new moms that are holding baby all the time and you're just sore. So let's see what we can do. So let's begin first with a seated position. Just find a comfortable seat that is comfortable for you. Close your eyes. And begin to take nice deep breaths through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Just know that baby's here, baby's safe. Yeah. Begin to deepen your inhale. Just feel your ribs expanding with each inhale. And a nice slow exhale. Actually, take a moment here while we're still in the stillness and in the quiet to close your eyes and we're going to set an intention. Now, if you're never set an intention for your practice, I will leave a link to one of my previous videos where I talk about how I set intentions for my practice. Right now, given that our main focus for this 10, 15 minute practice is simply just to release a lot of that, that tension that you might be holding in your upper body, maybe your intention is simply going to be to release and to tap into joy. Whatever your intention is, um, bring it to the forefront in your mind's eye. And in the next exhale, we're going to release it into the universe. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then release it. Fantastic. Now we can actually get started with a little bit of movement. So, and we're going to begin with some spinal movements and afterwards we'll, we'll do a little bit of a flow and then after that we bring it back down to the mat. So here we go. So I want you to first just begin some nice big circles while trying to keep both of your sit bones right on your mat. Let's switch sides. Think of, think of these circles sort of like the cat and cow while you're in a seated position. Inhale, heart open. Exhale, hollow back. Inhale, once again, chest forward. Exhale, hollow back. So let's do a couple of rounds of that. Place your left hand next to your mat and bring your right arm towards your left. And again, keep your sit bone firmly on the mat. And let's go to the other side. We'll do two more. And move with your own breath. Beautiful. Next, come on to um, table. Okay, so come to tabletop. 
where basically you're creating almost like a square, okay? So your shoulders, like everything you want kind of nice and stacked, nice neutral spine. So from here, we're going to take an inhale for a cow, and an exhale completely around your back. And with your own breath, inhale. Take your time here. And sway a little bit so that we can kind of warm up our shoulder joints as well. And at your next inhale, tuck your toes under and I'm going to meet you in downward facing dog. Now you don't necessarily have to pedal it out here, but make sure that there's a generous bend in your knees. And make sure that you're pushing your, your torso towards your thighs here. Just wiggle out whatever feels like it needs a little bit of extra movement. And at your next inhale, look in between your palms and walk up to the top of your mat. We're going to stay here for a moment. Just allow your arms to kind of dangle, perhaps hang on to opposite elbows. Again, generous bend at your knees. Your hamstrings might not be there yet. And if baby's around, say hello. Hi, baby. Your next inhale, slowly begin to come to standing. So at the top of your mat, do a couple of shoulder rolls and palms facing outwards. Nice, feet is firmly rooted in the, on the ground. Tempos. Feel how grounded you feel right now. Oops. Inhale, hands up. Big breath and exhale, forward fold. Let it all out. Inhale, halfway. Your hands can be on your shin or it can be on your thighs. And exhale, fold down, forward fold. In your next inhale, Bring both hands down on your mat and then step back into plank. So drop your knees and lower down chaturanga and inhale into up dog or cobra, whatever feels best for you in your practice right now. And then slowly shift back into downward facing dog. Paddle it out once again. Now your legs should actually be a little bit more warmed up at this point. Bend your knees, so generous bend in your knees and then step to the top of your mat. Inhale halfway and exhale, forward fold. Once again, deep bend in your knees and then slowly come up to mountain. And exhale once again, forward fold. Inhale halfway. So exhale, put both of your hands on, down on the ground and step back into a high plank. Then from here, we're going to lower down nice and slow. Then we're going to inhale into up dog or cobra, whatever feels more comfortable. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. So bring your right leg up and it's okay if you keep your hips wide open. And then you do the most ungraceful thing ever by bringing it forward in between your hands. Then from here, try to get as steady as possible. Make sure that you have your footing and you're nice and grounded. And then we're going to stand up into warrior one. Make sure that your hips are actually square. And then from here, exhale into warrior two. 
Here we go. Let's get nice and grounded. Feel the feel the strength. You're basically rooting down nice and deep. You're pushing from the out, like with your back leg, you're pushing on the outside of your heel while you're pushing through and you're pressing down with your front leg that's bent. So here we go. Here's another shot of the exact same thing. Then we're going to straighten your front leg. We're going to tilt your hip and we're coming into triangle pose. Your arm can be either in front of you or it can be on the side. Your gaze can go up or it can go forward. Here's another shot of the exact same thing. And breathe. Make sure that your ribs are nice and stable. Then bring both hands down to the ground and we're going to gracefully step back into plank, into a high plank. Then we're going to go through another flow, whatever feels right for you here, and make sure that you breathe. And I'm going to meet you in downward facing dog. And if you have pets, likely at this point, your dogs are going to be distracting you. Molly, you're ruining the video. <laughs> you're ruining the get out of the video. When you're done being distracted with your dog, then bend your knees and look between your hands and we're going to meet at the very top of your mat. You can use that opportunity to just shuffle your dog away. If that works, fine. Make sure that your camera is still rolling and inhale into halfway. Exhale, forward fold. You can't see because the dog is in the shot, but that's okay. Welcome to motherhood. And now we're going to inhale hands up and exhale into heart center. And Lord knows we need it at this point. Well, I am, but... And the dogs are ruining your video. I know. Why are the dogs ruining my video? I'm not understanding this. And exhale, heart center. We'll repeat this flow to the other side and then I'll meet you in downward dog. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to inhale, hands up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway. We're going to step back into high plank, lower down chaturanga. You can't see this, but inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So from down dog, bring your left leg up and gently bring it in front of you between your hands. Then when you're ready and when you're feeling nice and stable, then come up into your warrior one. So lift, make sure that your pelvis is nice and square and breathe and then from here we're going to come into so find your warrior so in warrior two straighten your front leg tilt and come into triangle and from here your right hand can either come up you can leave it on your low back or you can pet your dog or you can lean forward next inhale bring your hands down on the ground and step back into your plank. Bring your knees down to the ground and sit into child's pose, nice and slow. Your next inhale, reach your hands in front of you. Come back into table and end up in a seated position. Okay. Now from here, we're going to bend our right leg, cross it over, your hands up, take a deep breath, and we're going to turn towards the right. So think tall and rotation. And we're going to stay here for three breaths. Do a quick little counter twist and we'll repeat the same thing on to the other side. So we're going to bend our left leg, cross over, hands up, and we're going to rotate towards the left.
Okay. Now, from here, you can just simply lay down on your back, bring your knees to your chest, and gently rock side to side. Give your low back a massage. We'll do one last posture before I let you guys off. So we're going to take our left leg and cross it over to the right knee. And this will be for thread the needle so you can take your hand and reach behind your, your thigh. So behind your feet. Is it behind your feet? No. It's basically you can interlace your hands behind your thigh and pull gently. This will be super tight. You might, you might actually just feel the stretch just here and that's totally fine. And let's do a quick switch over to the other side. So if you want, you can gently push, not right at the kneecap, but just on your thigh, you're gonna be pushing outwards. Flex your feet so that it also protects your joints. Then gently release and release it all. And stay here as long as it feels comfortable. Close your eyes. Give yourself gratitude for showing up on your mat today. Give yourself gratitude and thanks for this body, this vessel that allowed you to move the way that you needed to move. Now you may stay in Shavasana or you may want to you may want to sit up, close your eyes. And just give a moment of thanks and gratitude. I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to return back onto the mat, for returning back to where it all really started. And mamas even if all you have is 10 minutes, just know that you can always just move your body just a little bit so that you kind of release a little bit of that energy and work with this newly found energy that you generated. So thanks for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. You can give me a thumbs up, you can subscribe, do all of the good things, all of the good vibes. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.